Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be giving y'all a little bit of a tour um, of our unfinished basement. We took one side of it and we converted it into a guest room for my mom. As many of y'all know, I'm expecting baby number three and um, my mom has been here for the birth of ever, all of my kids um, so far, but this time she's gonna be staying home with my two older boys. But she's such a big help, and instead of cramming her into a room, because we do have a small house, we decided that we would try and work with the basement to make it into a nice guest suite area. So, um, with it being military housing and not our own, we didn't want to invest tons of money into it. So, when we finished our, when we decided to do this, we tried to utilize a bunch of things that we already had and doing things on really low budget and I gotta say I'm really happy with how it turned out and I wanted to share it with you guys if any of you guys are looking for inspiration for an idea of how to refinish an unfinished space <laughs> some ideas for what y'all can do so let's get started we hung curtains all around to kind of block off the space it's not perfect but it works um, we have some stuff in the corner over there just because they haven't been taken out, but um, probably move them to the other side um, before she comes. I then, we had these two little windows down here that looks really sad, but I had a spare scarf that I had bought before, and so all I literally did was I took a little hole, or the little loop puppies up here, and I had, there were nails in the wood, I put three, so one right here, one here, and one here, and then we stretched the scarf across and kind of made it like this, so it had some of the droops in the middle. Um, another option I was going to do was just do a whole bunch of those little hooks all the way across and then hang curtains, but the scarf worked really well. Um, the same with these, we just kind of used nails and did the little curtain hooks up here. And these were all curtains we already had, so it was very inexpensive to just do this. We already had all of these, so we just went into the box and grabbed them, just put in some nails, and then we were able to make this nice kind of enclosed area and putting curtains up that adds some decor. I wound up hanging these two pictures on this wall. It was kind of, you know, blank and sad. Um, these were photo pictures I already had that were just sitting around, and I just we just put them on the wall. Um, the table we already had, um, as well as the lavender, and we just kind of dressed it up to best we could. Um, this is a welcome basket that I made my mom. <laughs> I like to do welcome baskets, especially when I have guests staying long. So we have some like shampoo and conditioner, body wash. Um, I did some face masks because I had a big kit of them, a scrubby, of course Norwex body cloth because I can't do anything without Norwex <laughs> these days, and a towel. And then what we wound up doing was found a spare hook and we put it in this beam so that she's able to hang her towel down here and not have to worry about um, my kiddos getting into it. Okay, it'll be able to just dry on its own. Hair and pillow we already had. Um, we talked about buying a nicer chair, but just right now, um, with our budget, we decided that if we decide to do that, we'll do that farther on down the road. One of the things that we did invest in to buy. So on Prime Day, we wound up buying this air mattress, and we made sure it was like the double-stacked one, um, so it's nice and comfortable to get in and out of. And I think it was around $50, and in itself inflates and everything, which is awesome. Previous one had broken, so that was definitely a big one. And we bought a queen size foot mattress because we already had queen sheets, so less things to buy. We already had sheets for the bed. Bedding, at least the sham, or the quilts, and then the two, the shams that match it, we did buy. I got them at Ross. I think they were $30. Um, the pillows we already had, like the sheets, and then this throw blanket we had. So um, that was, it was really nice to be able to just get something that would go together down here. 
Um, we didn't have a headboard and we, this is a concrete wall. We weren't sure what to put on it. But we had like a spare curtain rod sort of a deal and some spare curtains. So kind of made this princess drape and it is literally being held in place by the pillows, but it looks nice. I wound up using a stool we already had um, as the nightstand. I just repainted it because it had been black before and I felt like the off-white um, blended a little bit better right now down here. I hodgepodge our rug situation. Um, we already had the two plain ones on the outside down here, but then we took this one in the center, which was up in our living room, and moved it down here, and then just kind of placed them all together. Definitely not perfect, and I would absolutely love to go and get some, like, carpet scraps or even a larger rug to go down here eventually. This lovely, I think it's a dry sink, sidebar, whatever you want to call it, was a Facebook find. So somebody was selling it. I think we got it for $40. And I mean, it had, um, it's a little, the paint's not great. I need to repaint it. I just haven't gotten to it. And then I did a quick paint job on the back. But it works. And then this side piece is kind of loose. So we'll just have to glue that in place. But for $40 for a wooden um, dry sink was really nice. The television we already had, it's not perfect, but it will do. And we have a fire stick already in it, so my mom can enjoy some television if she wants a long time. Of course, with it being a basement, I wanted to put a nice candle in, and the pumpkin clove is one of the ones we recently picked up. Oh, it just gives it a nice fall vibe down here. Um, I may wind up moving that one upstairs too. Just I move my candles all around, but I wanted to make sure it's just nice and folly down here. And then she's gonna be helping me decorate, so we'll be putting out a fall decorate with me in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout for that. What I really liked about this was it had some storage space so we could put extra blankets in here so that they're not obscurely sitting around. There is kind of my crafting area as well as sewing spot but my mom likes to sew and so we made it so that she can easily access it if she wants to come down here for some a long time this gave you guys some great ideas over how to refinish a space that you don't necessarily want to invest a ton of money in but how to do this especially in an unfinished basement to make it look nice and homey so I hope you guys just got picked up some tips from that. Be sure to like and subscribe. And like I said, be on the lookout for that fall decorate with me. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.